we have a government out there admitting that there is an aluminum shortage or aluminium shortage if you're British, right? Uh, that's a big deal. And we also have one family uh, sharing about their experience of getting a $500,000 hospital bill, an un unexpected one, and what they did about it. Uh, super useful um, in case you get stuck in a similar situation. And you heard it here first on this channel about how self-checkouts were going to be going away, um, out the door, and... Uh, and we're getting more and more reports from you guys that that is exactly what's happening across the United States. The self-checkouts are being replaced by actual live human beings once again, which is a big win for all of us. Plus, many other updates from you guys from all over. Let's jump right into it. Welcome to the Poplar Report. I'm Steve Poplar. I'm an accountant by trade. And uh, these are your updates. These are your reports coming in from all over about what you guys are experiencing and seeing where you are. Um, and uh, before we uh, go any further, we do want to thank our sponsor, Genesis Gold Group. Uh, if you have a retirement account and you want to get that into something safer, more secure, or if you just have questions about that, Jonathan and his team would love to answer your questions. It may be a good fit for you. It may not be. Um, but if you want to talk to them and, and find out, um, you can either... Um, click on the screen at the end of the video um, or in the pinned comment down below there will be a, a link there you can fill out your information and they'll send you an information packet or a phone number there do mention this channel if you call them directly so they do waive your setup fee um, all right so let's jump into your updates if you have an update that you want to send in just put it on a comment on this channel um, reply back to any one of the videos with a comment use the word update somewhere in your comment to get it to the right place. Give us some sort of geographical location too, so it's useful for all of us. Uh, Maria says, I just got back from Walmart in Somerville, South Carolina, and there are 10 cashiers open and only four self-checkouts available. Uh, if used, it used to be more self-checkouts, like 10 or 12, um, and just a couple of open uh, worker ones, right? and no workers watching, uh, but now Walmart workers are closely watching every self-checkout machine. And uh, we're also hearing at other places, um, they are putting like limits on it, like 10 items or less kind of thing, uh, which kind of makes some sense because you know, like you have a giant shopping cart full of stuff. There just isn't any room for it, right? Um, so self-checkouts are going out the door. Apparently just people were stealing too much stuff. And so, uh, and also they were really annoying people. People did not like the self-checkouts and, uh, and they were stealing stuff. So uh, stores are moving back to hiring checkout uh, workers. So victory for all of us, right? Uh, Sandy says, hello from Oregon. I'm happy people are understanding our new laws. So the anti-gardening law, um, which is just absolutely insane when you read it. Uh, and then also the, the water, the water from the water table. Uh, basically, you have to, even if you're using it for a legal purpose uh, to water your cattle and stuff like that, you need to apply for a permit to use groundwater. If you have a well, you need to apply for a permit to use it to, feed, to water your cattle or to uh, water your garden. It's absolutely insane. Um, so uh, Sandy says, uh, I'm happy people are understanding our new laws. We don't. <laughs> Being told we must buy a permit to grow a garden isn't us understanding being told we can't have a small farm. Using a well for animals or fields is stealing apparently now. No chickens behind any wire. Can't have wire with chickens, right? That's the, now you're a commercial grower or whatever. No animals on concrete at all. So if you want to have a pig with, uh, and you want to do a pig style and put some concrete down, can't do that. Nope, no animals on concrete. No catching water. So rain catchment system, that's illegal because you're stealing. Yet we have to pay taxes on rain runoff from our homes. So you have to pay taxes if the water leaves your house uh, and goes into streams, but you get arrested if you don't allow the water to run off your house. So it's like, do they want it to run off or not run off? Um, no fish, no fishing, uh, which is a problem. But our, um, our governor taking out all the dams and killing billions of fish and uh, closing out fish hatcheries uh, in 2004, um, taking out the world's uh, biggest dam in Klamath Falls 
and also uh, that also feeds California and Idaho with water. Uh, so they, they're going to have less water. Uh, but, uh, but then also uh, water uh, supplies uh, from wells. Okay, that's, uh, that's some of the things. I'll take a break on our Oregon nightmare. It's frustrating, right? Whenever you have the government telling you what you can and can't do and just bureaucrats who have no connection to your life, no understanding of how we live our lives, uh, telling you how to do things. It's like politicians telling you how to, to manufacture a car, right? They don't know how to manufacture a car. They don't know if it makes sense. And that's exactly what they're doing with water and farming and just, you need to get out of Oregon. I, I hate to say it that way, but Oregon, Washington State, and uh, California are just, and even New York, are just places you just kind of have to seriously consider leaving. Uh, because if you wait too long, there won't be anyone to buy your home. That's what's happening in Illinois right now, is that people that waited long enough, uh, hoping that Chicago turned around and stuff like that, uh, now no one will buy their home. Detroit, same thing. No one will buy your home. You, you sell it on pennies on the dollar because nobody will buy it. Uh, Proverb House has this to say, Nebraska, a friend of mine who does not have a bank account, recently got a $6,000 income tax refund getting your money back, right? He called around to all the check cashing places in Lincoln, Nebraska, uh, population of almost 300,000 people, uh, even drove up there. They could not find um, any of them that could cash a check of that size. None of the Walmarts would uh, cash a check that size. He ended up driving uh, to Wichita, Kansas, four hours away to get the, the check cashed. Uh, he was giving it to him in all 20s. Uh, pray it is our only hope. Everyone has to get into the banking system. Pretty soon they're going to put those chips on our hands, right? Uh, or on our foreheads. Um, that's an allusion to uh, the whole um, uh, Antichrist uh, prophecies, right? Uh, but everyone's being forced into the banking system. And you just doing it in cash and, uh, and, and trying to cash your checks, that's unacceptable anymore. You have to be in the banking system. And the government is it's twisting the screws on everyone uh, that there are no alternatives. Uh, that's why the thing that, about Bitcoin just, just makes them so mad is because Bitcoin actually presents a system where you could theoretically take your cash and go to Bitcoin ATMs and buy Bitcoin. And then you can transfer payments with Bitcoin to people. Um, in such a way that you're basically circumventing the banking system, which just has the bankers just foaming at the mouth. They hate that. They hate that. I'm not saying that's necessarily something you should get into, but it'd probably be a good thing for you to have the apps and, the, and understand how the process of moving money around works uh, with Bitcoin or with Ether or with some other tool, cryptocurrency like that. Uh, Pat says, uh, North Carolina will not offer replacement license plates. This does not apply to lost or stolen plates. This is uh, the notice copied from the NC DMV, North Carolina DMV website. Here's a notice. Please note, an aluminum shortage is forcing the North Carolina Division of Motor, Motor Vehicles to indefinitely suspend its program to replace license plates that are older than six years. The move is uh, being taken to help ensure that there is enough material to produce first-time plates. Aluminum shortage, friends. That's what it said. Aluminum shortage. Not making that up. They might be, but I'm not. Uh, Buster says, uh, update on car parts. Uh, massive car uh, scrapping operation has been going on for months. Local uh, South Central Indiana operation is hauling in tons of cars. Some look very good for parts being scrapped. And uh, if you're reading between the lines there, are they cars being scrapped or are they cars that have been stolen? You wonder where I, all these cars are suddenly being stolen? The car part shortage is creating market demand for parts, yes, and guess who's fulfilling that demand? Criminals, especially people who know that they are above the law because of the color of their skin or because of the documents that they hold because they come from 
other places. Grandma says um, Pacific Power in Oregon is asking for a 17% uh, price hike. They um, already increased our bill by 11% at the beginning of the year. Another 17%. But, you know, inflation is only 3%. Remember that. Remember that. Uh, Julie says uh, Kroger had a sale on Edward frozen pies. Bear, bear with me. Uh, there's a point here. Uh, buy one, get one free. We thought that it would be great since uh, we could get two for the $5.99 that those things go for. Nope. Kroger raised the price to $8.99 for the sale. So we got two for $8.99, which is, right, $4.50 a piece. They're normally $5.99 a piece. So uh, they made it out to be that you're going to get them for $3 a piece, but you actually got them for $4.50 a piece. So we got two for that price. I am pointing this out because this is just one of Kroger's favorite ways to hide price increases. It's dishonesty. It's fundamentally dishonesty. Sleep of Tranquility says a uh, city of Pensacola had a cybersecurity incident. Yes, another one, another city, another government agency. Uh, that was on the weekend of 317. Um, they left a previous comment. Uh, as of 323, some online city services had been restored back then, but still some remain unavailable. It's, it's bad. Um, it is cyber warfare happening right now. It's not cyber security, it's cyber warfare. Uh, just some other guy says, um, you were talking about a, do a doctor's fee. My daughter was born premature in 2019. She was in the hospital for two months and it cost me over half a million dollars then. My wife and I uh, were in our 40s and the state came in and started making demands and ordering us that if they, um, um, and, and of what was owed, um, reminding us how much it was going to cost. My wife put uh, them in their place and told them uh, she was only getting uh, about $20 a month. My point is half a million dollars would have bought 20 incubators at that time. These doctors should have a cap on each and every procedure, but due to the insurance companies, uh, they overcharge, um, overcharge costing us all. The state ended up picking up the charge costing, so it ended up being paid for by the government which is all of us. The insurance walked away like a king. Insurance is a scam and being used to drain wealth. You better believe it's being used to scam the government out of billions. Uh, I just saw out there, it was something like $800 billion in improper payments by the federal government just in the past year. $800 billion in improper payments to things like this, maybe. Uh, Panoptic says, um, uh, Costco in Westchester, New York, this past weekend, Saturday and Sunday, out of romaine lettuce and other produce. Uh, clearly a shortage. Uh, so I just started uh, building a greenhouse in my backyard so I can grow my own vegetables. Uh, there's uh, lots of plans out there, lots of videos to show you how to do that simply or cheaply, or if you want to do something more fancy. There's so many videos out there on YouTube about uh, what to do with a, a greenhouse. You can uh, get the hoops and you can make a little caterpillar tunnel. All that stuff is not expensive at all. Uh, think about growing your own food, friends, uh, because if you get that, those skills now and you get prepared now, uh, you're going to save a bundle over the years and you're going to find that you're eating healthier for your family and everyone. All right, friends, please do keep your updates coming in. If you want to get some more information from Genesis Gold, there's a link right there or down in the pinned comment down below. Also the phone number down there. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you want to check out another video from this channel, there's one right up here. I'll see you over there or I'll see you guys later. Steve Poplar of the Poplar Report, out.